So what really began is a small number of students working with one of our high school faculty members has turned into a five-year research study with answering the question, what makes a healthy Bronx River watershed? We have our high school students serving as principal investigators and students in every grade beginning in kindergarten going out to the river to collect data to feed to our principal investigators to answer that question. The results have been amazing. We have seen students take an interest in scientific research in ways that we have not seen before. And we're very excited about what this means for the Bronxville School District. This experience has really allowed our students to grow as leaders, innovators, engaged citizens, and critical thinkers because they understand that if there's a problem in their world or their immediate environment, they can collect information to make suggestions on how to solve that problem. In addition, one of our primary goals was to increase the amount of students participating in the high school science research course, and we have done that. Next year, we will be offering two courses, an advanced Bronx River Research Study course and an initial Bronx River Research Study course. So we have more and more students taking opportunities to explore scientific research. They understand it as something that not only takes place in a lab, but it's something that you can do in the environment and all students have been a part of. Um, it's also a wonderful opportunity to develop their skills and their need to be engaged citizens in their community. I think it's important for me and my classmates to study the Bronx River because we're learning a lot about the nearest body of water and I think it's really cool that we get to visit and research all about the pollution and all the other things in the Bronx River that make it different from other rivers. Our school has already organized a lot of cleanups and I think that's really cool for us students to make a difference in the world. 